hello guys welcome back to a new part of android tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about bind services in android a bind service can create in three ways first one is you can create a bind service by extending the binder class and second one is you can use the messenger for creating a bind service and final method is you can use the android interface definition language for creating a binder method a bind service so in this episode i'm going to create a service which is a uh, service used by extending the binder class for creating a bind service here I'm going to create a new project it's an Android application project I name it as here I'm going to name it as bind service bind uh, binder binder app and change the project name as binder project pjct and click next and again click next click next here create a blank activity here is the activity name and is xml layout okay we got the project on the IDE here is the layout of the project okay here I'm going to create a new service so create a new Java class and name the class as my service and browse for a super class and search for service and select the service and click OK and finally click finish now we got the class that extends service and here I'm going to create an inner class called a private public here I'm going to create an inner class called a public uh, public class local binder local binder and here I'm going to extends this class using binder extends binder okay here I'm going to create an object of I binder so private final private final private final high binder I name the object as M binder M binder equal to new local binder that is the inner class okay so now I'm going to create a method for returning the service to the client so public public here the return type is my service my service that is the class name my service here the return type is an object of my service class and here the method name is get service and it will return return my service dot this okay now on the i binder I'm going to return that m binder which is an object of i binder okay here I'm going to create a method for the client to interact with the service so here I'm going to create a method for find the factorial of a number so public int find factorial so uh, in this example I just find out the factorial using the service and send the result back to the service so result back to the activity which is bounded to the service so create a method which has a return type print and it also, an it also have an argument of index here I'm going to create a variable in the fact equal to 1 and here is the code for finding factorial of a number in i equal to starting with 0 and here is the condition i less than or equal to sorry here is a factorial so i start i equal to 1 and i less than or equal to x and increment the value of i and here is the here fact equal to fact equal to fact into i fact into i okay now return fact now after processing the for loop we got a result in fact so return that variable fact okay now we complete that code on service now we have to we have to make the layout for the application and before it we have to register the service on the android manifest file so go to the xml xml android manifest.xml and here i'm going to create a service tag service and provide the android name android 
name equal to employee name is equal to dot here the class name of service is my service again save it again save the project now we can create GUI for the application so for binding the service I add a button and for un unbinding the service I add another button and for accessing the number from user place a edit text and for finding factorial of that number again place a button okay so here change the text of the first button as bind service bind service and here is the second button change the text of the second button as unbind service unbind service and provide an hint for the edit text android hint android hint enter enter number here and provide a text for the third button find factorial find factorial okay just now we have to align the text on the edit text at the center so we can use the android gravity for it so android android gravity android so we are going to create on click method for the buttons the first button for android first button is the bind service of bind method first button on click method is bind method and here is the second button and provide an on click method for it android on click android on click factorial method here i am name it as factorial method factorial method and here is the unbind button provide an on click method for it android on click unbind unbind method unbind method okay again save the project now we can align the text on the edit text at the center using android gravity so android android gravity equal to center again save the project okay now we completed the GUI of the application so again go to the main activity the Java file now here we are we have to create the on click methods for the button so first method public void bind method this method is for the bind service bind service button so we need an argument view import the view class subject also we need two more methods for other two buttons okay here the second method is unbind method unbind method here is the third button which is factorial method factorial method factorial method okay again save the project okay we have to check the that method is, is factorial method okay okay here I'm going to create an object of the service class so my service I name it as my service also for finding out the status of the service I create a boolean status and initialize it as so here is the here I'm going to create a service connection object service connection service connection service connection I name the object as SC equal to new service connection new service connection so here we got two methods on service disconnected and so on service connected so if I'm going to connect the service 
so I'm going to create an object of the local binder class local binder which is the inner class on the service local binder binder equal to service okay here is a service the I binder object and cast it into local binder local binder okay now we have to initialize the my service object here my service object is m service so m service equal to m service equal to binder dot binder dot get service that service return the binder object i binder object and st assign status is true that means here the service is binded okay now we are going to create code for connect the bind the service so we need an indent object indent i equal to new indent new indent this comma provide the class name here the class name is my service dot class now bind the service using bind service method we need to import indent object indent class here now start the service using bind service method bind service bind service it's not bind method it's bind service bind service provide that indent object first indent object is i and provide the service connection object finally provide a flag it is context dot context dot context dot bind auto create bind auto create now set the value of status into true status equal to true because now the service is binded and display a message using toast toast dot make toast get the base context get base context and provide a message that tell the service is successfully binded service binded successfully service binder successfully provide duration for the toast provide duration for the toast toast dot length long and now make the toast visible using show method okay again save the project now I'm going to unbind the service so before we have to check whether the status is true or false if status is true that means now the binder now the service is binded so we have to unbind it and bind service and provide the service class service connection object okay again display a message using toast that represent the service is successfully unbinded service unbinded successfully and change the value of status into false status is equal to false okay again save the project or in the else case the service is already unbinded service is already unbinded service already unbinded save the project so now we have to find the factorial of the number so we have to check the status whether it is true or false before before going to code we have to connect that edit text we have to fetch value from the edit text so we need an object of edit text here edit text create an object called txt and txt and txt equal to txt equal to find view by id find view by id r dot id dot that object name is edit text one now we have to cast it into edit text 
edit text okay save it now here I'm going to create an integer where integer variable int num equal to parse it into int integer dot parse integer dot parse <coughs> integer dot parse int uh, txt dot get text txt dot get text dot to string and for getting result create a variable called the result result equal to here the service class object is m service m service dot M service dot uh, that method is called find factorial and provide that num as argument. Okay, now we have to print out the result. So factorial equal to factorial is equal to plus result. Okay. Now we completed successfully completed the coding. Or on the else case, you have to bind the service first. If the status is false, that means the service is not binded. So in that case, in that case, first you have to bind the service. First bind the service. Okay, save it. Now we have to run the project. So right click the project and run us. Android application open the emulator okay now the project is launched first we have to bind the service bind it service binder successfully I unbind it service unbinded successfully again I bind the service and provide a number 3 and find factorial okay we got the result factorial equal to 6 now unbind the service service unbind the successfully okay guys this is how we using how to use unbind a bind service in android by extending the binder class you got the complete course source code of this topic from my blog my blog url is given under under the description of this video please subscribe my channel thank you for watching